Hi everyone, in this video module, we will try to understand what is meant by breakdown dimension. So here we have a time series chart and under dimensions, we have something called as breakdown dimensions. What does it mean? See, we know that our time series chart is representing the total sales in each quarter. Okay, if I don't want my total sales to be displayed, rather I want to see what is the sales in each region like in east how much is the sale in west how much is the sale like that if i want region wise data to be represented in my time series chart then i can use breakdown dimensions it's going to simply break down my values based on certain columns that is based on certain fields let us take an example i'll go and take my region okay I'll go and take my region and add it as a breakdown dimension. Now you could see there are five different lines. Okay. Each line, there are five different lines, each line representing a certain region. In East region, this is the total sales in each quarter. In West region, this is the total sales. Like that, in each region, we can see the total sales. We will try with category instead of region. If you want my category to be my breakdown dimension, then in each category, how much is the total sales in each quarter, I can see. It. See, it's almost same. In office supplies, this is the total sales. In technology, this is the total sales. Okay. So, like that, breakdown dimensions can be effectively utilized to break down our visual based on our field or our, our column of interest. Okay, this concept of breakdown dimension can be applied to all kinds of visuals like the bar chart. Hope you understood this concept of breakdown dimension. We will catch up in the next one. Thank you.